After being married for 25 years, Larry and I decided to revisit all of the places where this love story began. So today we're going back to the oil company where we first met as co-workers. The building kind of still looks the same, though. Wow, this is weird. What if they're like, who are these two nut jobs just walking in here? Like, what if there's no, nobody even here? Do we even know people even still work here? <laughs> I don't know. 25 years ago, everybody that we work should be retired. I worked there part-time after high school. My dad, Nick, actually got me the job there. He knew Larry's cousin, Mike. And I was the dispatcher for the servicemen. Right. I took the calls, and you sent the men to the calls. Ringa, dinga, ding. That's how we met. They're going to wonder what the heck we're doing here. They're probably going to be like, who are these people? Like, I who know comes what, I know here? what to say. I'm afraid. Oh, this is, oh, this is a much nicer office. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, I'm Iris. Hi, Iris. I'm Teresa. Hi, Iris. I'm Larry. We're here for the tour. Take I don't see around. why not. We want to take, like, a little tour. Can Absolutely. we walk around? Can you believe we used to work here? Oh, a long time ago. Very, very good. 25 years ago. We used to work in the service department. Where's the service department? It was odd that they were coming to Petro. Because you, you look at it as, this is my job, this is where we come to work every day, and you look at them like you come back 25 years later, you know, it's just a building. But to them, it's, it's memory. Hi, how are you? I'm Teresa. I'm Ginger, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my husband, Larry. Hi. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you, Ginger. What's your position? I do the uh, billing, the batching when the drivers come in. That's what That's I used, what to, do. used to do. That's what I do. I count those tickets. This is where it all began. Yeah. Wow. And you yeah, met here. She, um, we met here. She yep. started out working part time. When Teresa walked into the office, you knew about it. I mean, between her voice, the way she dressed, the way she looked, her hair, she made her presence known. You were like a spitfire. I mean, I actually enjoyed waiting for you to come to work every day. Oh, that was so sweet, hon. I used to always look at my watch and say, oh, it's almost 3 o'clock. Teresa's coming in. What was the line I would say when you walked in? Who's that movie star? He used to say That's that. Sweet. I'm like, who's that movie star that just walked into the building? And I would be so embarrassed. I would turn beet red because he would just scream it out. And he told everyone how cute he thought I was. I mean, who does that? He's adorable. And I thought I was Madonna back then, so. <laughs> You'll have a story to tell your grandchildren Isn't that funny? But, you know, you know. I don't deliver oil anymore. I deliver messages. <laughs> <laughs> really? I am a medium, which, you know, I'm able to connect with people that have crossed over. Is your dad departed? Yes. You still feel your dad or oh, smell my... him? Smell. So know that that is your dad. Oh, my gosh. How beautiful. He's like bragging about your mom. He just handed your mom red roses, which is a symbol of love and devotion and also anniversary. So whether if their anniversary is now. Uh, I don't know what this is. I never saw this before. So whenever I see something, I always just say it to someone. You, your father keeps showing me like the blessed mother and then her crying. And then I see your mom praying to the statue. I know exactly what it is. No. My father bought my mother for her 17th birthday a statue of Saint Teresa. The statue still in her bedroom, and she prays to Saint Teresa every oh. night. Oh, yes. 22 years, a day goes by, she doesn't cry for him. He died suddenly of a massive heart attack, so there was never any closure, there was never any final goodbyes. It's been very difficult. I mean, it's been 22 years, but I look to him for everything. He was my, uh, he was the air that I breathed. But your dad was a very proud man, proud of who he was and what he did. Your father just br brought me back to Pearl Harbor. Oh, my goodness. So uh, did he serve wor World Pearl War? Pearl Harbor. He was on, uh, wow. he was in Pearl Harbor. Because wow. He was a gunner's mate, third class. Do you still have the, the scrapbook? Come on. Because I said, I want you to validate that your soul is present and that you wanted me to share that story. He goes, tell her about oh the scrapbook. God, my, my, my hair is standing up on <laughs> Nobody knows about that scrapbook, but like me and my brothers and my mother. 
My mother, she kept everything from his first card, his first postcard, anything he sent, she put in a scrapbook. It's so cool because it's all Hawaiian and it's all about Pearl Harbor. The scrapbooks are phenomenal. Did you actually have a visitation from your father? Because he showed me you leaving your body, you being united with your father in a soul form. The, the night he died, I felt like he came through me and because I collapsed the minute he died. The minute he died, so I collapsed. So you collapsed, that was his way of saying goodbye. And you always said that. I always said that. I, till this day, I say that. He went through me. The night my dad passed away, about 12.01, I was sitting on the chair and I just basically collapsed. And uh, five minutes after that, we got a phone call that he passed away and he was pronounced dead at 12.01. Your father wanted you to know that he was okay and know that his soul has always been with you, has never left you, and wanting to thank you for the way that you treasure him and his memory. You're, that is... you're amazing. When I felt like he went through me, like spirit went through me, they took a part of me, and it was a little part of my heart. Oh, it's so I nice to hug. absolutely. Oh, oh my God, thank you so much. Oh my much. God, it's so nice I've to meet you. I've waited for that you. for so long. I thank you. That's so Larry, sweet. can I get a hug? Oh, that's good, sure. <laughs> but you do move forward. I can keep moving forward knowing that now that he is with me and watching over every step I make. Pleasure meeting you, Teresa. Bye bye, thank you. Thank you you too. Take care. Right. Okay, our last stop, the coffee room. We made it a daily ritual that at some point in time we'd go get a cup of coffee, uh, make out a little bit, and then go back to work. There's nobody looking, quick. <laughs> Right, that's the way we used to do it. And then we'd I, run used to be, out. I used to be so nervous. You'd be like, you'd be like, honey, okay. Sam, be like, I'd be like, okay, there's nobody looking. There's okay. nobody looking. And I'd be like, oh my God, there's nobody looking. You know, back then it was like, oh my God, I can't wait to kiss him. I can kiss him anytime I want now. <laughs> Hun, that was so nice. It was. See, even after 30 years, we're still silly kids. Bubba's a cone head. He's sitting so nicely. Are you willing to have a trainer come in? Well, if that's what you're making me do, then yeah. And not only train him, but train you how to train him. Larry, whoever you find, they don't know what they're in for.